everybody. How are we doing today? Happy Friday. Dear Mazda, my husband's name is Bill Bracken, and I am humbled to nominate him to be one of your 50 Mazda heroes. A chef by trade, Bill believes that nourishment is more than just feeding someone. It's about showing someone you care. We ought to be able to make some nice roast out of that. Uh... That's why Bill created Bracken's Kitchen, a nonprofit organization that feeds people in need. On average, Bill and his team provide up to 8,000 meals per week. But then the pandemic hit, and hope started to fade. Where were you guys like these at? But Bill vowed to keep feeding people. Now, Bracken's Kitchen provides over 40,000 meals per week. <laughs> Thanks so much. God bless you. <laughs> Mazda wants to honor heroes who've gone above and beyond for their community. You don't see it. It's important for us to always remember, at the end of the day, it's those people out there we're trying to support and help. So let's have a great day, everybody. Thanks for everything. All right. And no one has gone more above and beyond than my husband, Bill Bracken. Oh, oh my God. You are unbelievable. Surprise. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Love you. A few more. <laughs> so. You're bad. You're really bad. Oh my God. I nominated you to be a Mazda hero because when the world shut down in March, you, oh, right. <laughs> you insisted on stepping up with all of these people to do good and to continue to feed the people that need it. I'm so proud that you're my husband. I'm so proud of the family we've built. Mazda was looking to honor heroes like you, and they are giving you a 100th anniversary <laughs> edition MX-5 Miata. These are all the people right here that makes this happen, guys. This isn't about me, please, right here. Through his love for food and our community, Bill taught us all that compassion and love are the only ingredients we need to build a better world. Sincerely, Molly Bracken. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I spent the first half of my life uh, living for me and chasing the dream and money and fame and fortune. I'd like to think that the second part of my life is about everybody else and not me. And um, hopefully someday when I die, I can feel good knowing I left the world just a little bit better than when I found it. We'll see you guys, we're taking off. <laughs>